Hi. Hey. So I know that you got to photograph the Dalai Lama. Can you please tell us how you make that happen? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so I, I heard that the Dalai Lama was going to be speaking in front of his house and teaching Buddhism to English speaking people. Um, and so I did everything that I could to get a plane ticket and, and get there. Um, so I flew to India and then I hopped on a bus and rode for a day, an entire day, high up into the Himalayas, uh, over 7,000 feet in elevation in a small town where he lives. And I got there early and I went to his office and I, and I applied to, to photograph him. And they, they told me that he was available for four days and he was gonna be there teaching Buddhism for four days. And so I applied to photograph him for all four days. And they gave me a pretty, pretty extensive uh, interview, two interviews actually. I had to go back twice for a second interview. And when I went back for the second interview, I brought in a letter. I, I typed up a letter explaining my intentions. What did I want to do with these, these photographs of the Dalai Lama? So I explained I'm a, I'm a photographer and an artist from Los Angeles and I want to help the Dalai Lama expose Buddhism to the Western world with my means of exhibitions of the photographs in art galleries. And um, there were people from every country all the way around the world, photographers and journalists and people applying and they were all getting turned down left and right. Decline, 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 people getting turned down. So I thought, whew, this is, boy, I uh, wasn't sure if I was going to get approved or not. But they approved me. And, uh, and I almost fell over. <laughs> they approved me uh, for three of the four days. The fourth day, you said they said you can still go, but you can't bring your camera. The fourth day, we want you to sit there, sit down in front of him and listen to him teach you Buddhism. And I thought, wow, wow. What, what an incredible opportunity. And uh, so that's what I did. I photographed him for three days and I, he taught me Buddhism for all four days, actually. He was teaching me Buddhism, but one day I didn't take pictures and I just listened to him. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. So what was it like being around him? It was something very special. Um, he is extraordinary. He is a huge being. He is really amazing. And he reminded me of my grandfather when he shook my hand, a very warm handshake, uh, and he, he looked at me and he, and he gave me this smile. He reminded me of the way my grandfather did. And it's this unconditional love, you know, like, like grandfathers love their grandchildren. And I, it was my first time ever meeting him. And uh, it was pretty special, you know, and it really, I felt honored the whole entire time that I was there. I couldn't even believe that I was there when I was there, when it was happening. But basically, it comes down to this. Uh, you know, I, I set my mind on something. I had good intentions. I, 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 for some reason, I knew it was gonna happen, but if you have a goal, if you have something that you want to achieve, you want to, there's a person who you want to photograph, or a person you want to meet, or something. If your intentions are, are good, and your reasons for being there are good, and you set your mind to it, you can make it happen. You can do it, just like I did with the Dalai Lama. Absolutely. So that's a lesson that everybody should learn, right? Absolutely. You can make it happen. Don't be lazy. Don't sit there. Get up. Go do it. Okay. Well, let's do that. Thank you, Tim. Thank you.